Hello and welcome to this latest video by CloudWords. My name is Mauricio and in this video I'm going to be talking through the finer points of the lifetime deals offered by pCloud and iStrive as well as a more general comparison of these two excellent cloud storage providers. Before I get to any of that though, please give a thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified whenever we put up a new video. Now, let's talk lifetime plans. The reason why I'm covering this topic is that here on CloudWords, on our website cloudwords.net, but also on the YouTube channel, we cover a lot of things around cloud storage, about collaboration, about how to secure your files, about secure connections, about backing up your data. And if this is something that interests you, if you want to get your business up and running and also secure your business or even your personal files, then please subscribe because this is the channel where you find all the information. Also, don't forget to click the description button so that you can see all the articles that we've written on CloudWords, which I always link down below so you can really dig deeper and find all the information that you need. But now let's talk about pCloud versus iStrive. So if you've been following this channel at all, you know that at CloudWords, we simply love pCloud. It's our second favorite cloud storage provider after sync.com and only loses out because sync includes zero knowledge encryption in the price and pCloud doesn't. However, lately there's been a new provider around and it's quite the market disruptor. iStrive came crashing on the scene offering bargain bin pricing and has become a big competitor to say more established cloud storage providers like Dropbox or others in the market like OneDrive or even Google Drive. It's not only its pricing of course, it offers good features and a great interface as well as value for money. But its cost is a big draw to consumers, especially its lifetime plans. Lifetime plans are pretty new to storage providers and right now still are kind of rare. As of today, only pCloud and iStrive seem to offer them after Zool stopped early in the year. A few VPNs are trying too with really mixed results. However, pCloud is going strong with theirs claiming in a recent interview with us that as storage is only getting cheaper, they predict lifetime plans will remain profitable for them. Now, you can find the interview with pCloud's founder in the description below. It's a really interesting read, I think, and you get a few more insights into this provider if you're interested. iStrive seems to share this sentiment and hasn't made any changes to how their lifetime plans operate since starting them. You may be curious how pCloud and iStrive's lifetime plans differ, so let's get into that. In short, iStrive is cheaper but caps your usage, while pCloud is pricier but has no cap. Let's look a bit at the numbers though. iStrive has three options to pick from, while pCloud has two. At first glance, pCloud looks a lot more expensive, about twice as much. For example, under iStrive's top tier plan, storage for life costs 100 bucks per terabyte, well, while pCloud charges you $175. And that's quite the difference, and it's even bigger with lower tier plans. However, that's not the whole story. iStrive may be better when it comes to the bottom line, but it also imposes some restrictions on lifetime users, while pCloud does not. iStrive only lets you upload or download a set amount of data per month, which will pop up in the screen here so you can see. And as you can see, these caps are quite generous, but if you ever figure to be using more than the cap, iStrive may not be worth the price as it just cuts off your access when you reach it. Also note that the cap combines upload and download, meaning if you download 150 gigs worth of files of your small account, you can only upload another 100 gigs. As at CloudWords, we prefer freedom to do as we please without keeping anything at the back of our mind. We generally recommend pCloud over iStrive unless you're in serious need of storage while being just as seriously strapped for cash. On top of that, you also get a better overall provider. pCloud just scores better in most categories that we review on. And to see why, stick with us as we go over the main points or if you prefer depth, 
go right to the description of this video and click on the full pCloud versus iStrive comparison piece we've recently published. What makes cloud storage good is what it does besides just let you store files away from your computer. And this is where pCloud shines and justify its higher price as iStrive has almost no features to speak of, focusing on pure storage. In fact, the only features worth mentioning are its media playback and the fact that it retains files indefinitely. Though this is likely to change in the near future and you can also see the iStrive developer roadmap so you can have a look at what features they plan to release in 2021. pCloud, on the other hand, retains files for 30 days with its rewind function, which is less, but it's a sure thing. It also has media playback capabilities, so it's two for two with iStrive. However, pCloud has advanced sharing functions, the ability to back up social media accounts, and even extensions for most major browsers. And also you can upload your photos automatically with pCloud. And this is also super important now because Google Drive is uh, removing their unlimited plan for, for the photo storage. So a lot of people might be using an alternative for that. And certainly you might wanna have a look at pCloud. It also has a great business plan that let, lets users invite other users where you can see who accessed what and when. It's a great way for companies to keep track of what's going on with their files. Speaking of usability, now, pCloud is also the better choice as it's just easier to use. You control it all from a simple client that shows you all you need to know from the amount of storage you've used to what you can share with whom. While iStrive's client is no slouch by any means, it doesn't package things as neatly as pCloud does. So we prefer the old guard over the newcomer here. This extends to the mobile clients. Both are great and easy to use, but iStrives is just that little bit more easy to use and looks a bit more sleek. That said, there is one thing that iStrive does do a little better, namely security. Both services are completely secure and offer great A encryption and protection, but pCloud makes you pay separately for zero knowledge encryption, while with iStrive, it's all included. This alone may make iStrive more attractive for security conscious viewers, so it's definitely something to keep in mind when you do your pick. However, for anybody else or those who've money to spend on security while also needing all of pCloud's other features, well, we figure pCloud is the better choice and so we'll declare it the winner. While iStrive is a fine provider on its own merits, we think it needs a few more years before being basically pCloud's equal. And we've started reviewing pCloud in 2012, so we do have a quite a long track record of seeing and of using pCloud. And you can see my first review here in the card or also in the description below. So I certainly know a lot about that provider and I must say, I do trust them with my files because I've been using them here in our office and with our staff on a regular basis to share files. And I must say, I don't see them go nowhere, to be honest. iStrive still has to earn, I would say has to earn a little bit more my trust to be deploying them like um, for my whole team, for my whole company. So while we're obviously testing them here for our CloudWords readers, it's still maybe a little far off from being deployed live in our production environment. What do you think? Did we get it right or wrong on this one? Well, let us know in the comments below and please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.